Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we got a quick review on this Power Whoop. It's based on the Beta FPV 85X frame. A quick reminder guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. And don't forget to leave a comment there and I'll try to reply to you as quickly as I can. It's built on the Beta FPV 85X frame. Foxeer Razor Pico 4.3 FPV cam. It's running Beta FPV 1103, 11,000 kV motors. For the flight controller, it's running a GEP RC 12 amp stable. And it also comes with their VTX, which is power switchable via tramp protocol from 25 milliwatt all the way up to 200 milliwatt. It's running a dipole antenna, the new Beta FPV canopy, much more sturdy than the original. It's running a van, four bladed two inch props. It's got this iFlot battery strap, an XT30 connector. For the receiver, it's running an FR Sky XM Plus. The dry weight is 45.6 grams. With a tattoo, it's coming in at 74.1 grams. With the RDQ525, it's coming in at 74.4 grams. And finally with the Talon, it's coming in at 76.9 grams. All right. Uh, this build was inspired by the Shutterbug 85. I'll post a link up here in the video description here. Um, he's got his own build video there. He's been working with Beta FPV for a while now. Uh, I did add a few custom touches uh, here to my build. I believe his build is going to be lighter um, based on uh, the components that he used. Uh, with mine, I did flash uh, Beta Flight. 4.2.5 and the latest BL Heli S firmware so I can enable RPM filtering. Uh, I did not fly mine on the smaller 2S 300 milliamp hour. Um, did not have any of those laying around. So the, the race a quads I believe is going to be the lightest and the Tattoo 450 is coming in pretty close there for the lightest packs that I had. Um, if you did want to get better performance, especially for indoor flying, you may want to pick up some 2S 300 milliamp hour batteries. Uh, I have just not had a chance to do so there. Another thing I can add, um, I am running a dipole. You can get a stubby, uh, you know, true RC or another right hand circular, circular polarized antenna. You probably will get better um, reception there for you. I did run it at 200 milliwatts and it was fine. I mean, it definitely uh, will run pretty close to uh, the range of the receiver, uh, which I'm using the XM Plus. It is a full range receiver, um, but I did get some fail safes uh, as you'll see in the footage there. Normally I run uh, Crossfire exclusively, but on whoops, uh, most of the time I stick to the SPI receivers, but in this case, I did have this XM Plus laying around, so I just put this in the quad there. So I think it's a pretty good setup. It is a lightweight receiver. Um, for the flight controller, as I said earlier, I am running the GEPRC Stable um, 12 amp. I did uh, keep the motor plugs just for ease of use there. You can wire these directly if you're comfortable with doing so. Uh, you may get a little bit better performance but I did not notice a difference there in my flight. Um, there is not really any uh, washout that I could tell. Um, like I said, you're probably gonna get better performance on a 2S 300 milliamp hour battery. I would not recommend running uh, a 3S LiPo unless you plan to uh, put a, a motor output limit in beta flight, which I have another video 
I'll post a link up here that you can check that out. Uh, it is a little bit different now. Uh, you can go into the PIDS tab there and go ahead and set your motor output limit there um, rather than having to do it in the CLI. Um, what else? Yeah, it did fly good um, with RPM filtering enabled there. As you'll see, I can get anywhere from three and a half to probably four and a half minutes on uh, one of these packs that uh, I've mentioned there, just depending on um, how hard you push the quad. Uh, one of the negative sides to this canopy, this is the new, newly revised. I bought a uh, Beta FPZ, I'm sorry, I bought a Beta FPV C01 Pro camera and it came with this canopy. Um, but it, it the, there's an inner piece, there's a mount um, that uh, bolts up to the canopy there to mount the camera. This is the Foxeer uh, Razor Pico camera. Uh, I can highly recommend this camera for a Whoop style camera. Uh, this is probably the best performance. It does not suffer the um, the Jello that the uh, Run Cam Nano 3s do. Um, so after a few impacts or just over time there, there's another piece of the lens that breaks free. Uh, if you've checked out my Mobula 6 videos, I'll post a link up here. You can see there's uh, crazy jello there and the, the props are fine in that video. So uh, this camera does come highly recommended. Um, so if you're thinking about picking one up, there is a 4.3 and a 16.9 version. This is the 4.3 version. There's also a uh, modified file to uh, somebody, I'll post the link in the video description there to mount this. Like I said, uh, the stock mount. This camera is a little bit wider than the C01 Pro camera. Uh, a little thicker there in the back, I'm sorry. So uh, you'd have to modify that. The only limitation is you can't adjust the angle. So uh, depending on how fast you're flying, you may be looking at the ground. But definitely fine for indoors uh, as you see uh, flying indoors um, this is 85 millimeter so two inch props I didn't have any problems there it was actually probably more fun to fly than my Mobula uh, 7 so uh, it's okay to fly it indoors I just fly in stability mode there indoors so uh, a lot of you if you're gonna be racing you probably want a smaller quad for racing, um, like a 65 millimeter, but uh, this is fine. A lot of people run them in angle mode, so. But I uh, was excited to bring this to you. You know, it is whoop season here, and uh, so I wanted to get this build video out to you guys. Um, it's probably going to be one of my favorite whoops, honestly. I do enjoy the Mobula 6 uh, as well as the. Uh, Emax Nano Hawk, but this one's a lot of fun. You can do more with it. Yeah, it's bigger, uh, but it's it's still not to the point to where uh, you know you're really going to be bothering anybody. It does have you know these ducks, so uh, if you crash into people or property there, yeah, you're going to be going faster. So still be careful. Don't fly around people, but um, it's a lot of fun there. So if you're thinking about building one of these, I'll post a uh, build list here in the video description. Um, so check it out. Uh, I hope this video was informative. I love making these kind of videos, giving back to the community when I can. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Uh, post a comment there and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for sticking around this long in the video there. I'm going to post channel updates towards the end of the video there. I did pick up another Foxhair Digisite for the Shark Bite system there. I have my Whoop VTX that should be here today. Uh, I believe I'm going to swap this uh, Armitan Tadpole 3 inch. I'm going to swap this over to uh, Shark Bite. We'll catch you guys in the next one.